Time right now for our weekly political roundtable with Republican strategist Chris Russell and Democratic strategist Jamel Holly, who also happens to be the mayor of Roselle. And in that capacity as mayor, with all that's going on, I must ask you, did the Christie administration never approach you about an endorsement? No, not at all. Not at all. You, are, a, you, are you surprised I'm, or disappointed that they I'm, didn't? I'm a Democrat. I don't think that he, I'm a strong Democrat in, mm -hmm. my, in, in my stance as a strong Democrat. I don't think he would approach me about that. I, I was very much supportive of, of Barbara Bono in her quest to become the governor. Were you aware of any alleged pressure being exerted on your fellow Democratic mayors? Uh, I was not aware of it, but, you know, now that things have come to light, you know, a lot of us are starting to question some of the things that uh, we've all been through over the past uh, years. And so, you know, uh, it's very interesting what's coming out at this point. And, I, you know, as, as a mayor, I can appreciate Dawn Zimmer's courage to come out at the time that she came out. And I respect her for that. You, you know, we have she's an telling the truth. Absolutely. You know, we have an obligation as, as mayors to defend our cities. And, you know, with the reputation that Chris Christie has had over the last few years, you know, some mayors, you know, are very scared of, 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 of him. And so, you know, it took courage for her to come out and, uh, you know, fight for her city. And I wish her the best of luck. Chris, what do you say? I mean, it seems to be a lot of opportunism to me at this point. If she, if she was so concerned about what she's alleging is a major, you know, act, you know, criminal act potentially, then why is she writing in a diary, not telling someone at that time? You know, and again, well, her, Jamel said, and a lot of people saying she said she was afraid. Oh, I think that's ridiculous. If she goes to the U.S. Attorney with this story, then and she thinks that somehow she'd be, you know, retribution against her is ridiculous. If this was a serious story at the time, she should have brought it up. And many other mayors, Democrats, Republicans. Independent mayors have all, you know, praised Governor Christie and said they never faced any of that kind well, of pressure. Mayor Fuller of the Jersey City has said that he felt that after he decided not to go down that road, that it cost him as well. Well, listen, a lot of mayors are going to come out now who feel they were wrong and say say something because they know they're going to get on MSNBC or something like that and make a news for themselves. No, I don't the bottom line is there's a lot of mayors, good mayors, uh, independents, Democrats who've said he never did anything like that to me. He, he was a good governor, and that's why I endorsed him. Listen, you know, when, when you have a, a, a very powerful governor that you have in Chris Christie and you know the reputation that he's had and you know that you're fighting for your city, millions and millions of dollars like in, in Dorn Zimmer's case that she's looking for her city, you know, you have to time certain things at a certain, you know, at a certain time and so your city's not in jeopardy. And, you know, again, I give her great courage, uh, you know, for, for coming out the way she came out and, and I wish her the best of luck again. I mean, Dawn Zimmer's problem is she's talking about wanting potentially $100 million of a $300 million pie. I'd encourage her to drive down Route 35 in Ocean County or visit Union Beach in Monmouth County. These are devastated communities. I'm not saying Hoboken wasn't hit hard, but this is, a, you know, the state was devastated not just in Hoboken, along the shore, definitely. And I think Governor Christie is trying to prioritize where that money's spent. But your party also has to contend with this. The federal prosecutor, the U.S. attorney, has now subpoenaed records from the Christie campaign and from the state Republican committee as well. What does that say to you? I think let the U.S. attorney do their investigation. That's what the governor said. He said he'll, uh, you know, be an open book in that investigation. I think what the problem now is we have this joint legislative committee with eight Democrats, four Republicans, run by the former Democratic State Party chairman and the former lieutenant governor candidate. To me, that's a kangaroo court. I, I don't see how that is anything but... A uh, kangaroo court. You, I, you think they, they will not be fair? I don't, because I, John Wisniewski's already said he doesn't believe Governor Christie. He, does, he thinks it strains credibility, I think was his terms that he used. So to have that, and that's clearly a partisan political court, I don't think there's any way it comes up with a fair... So you're putting more faith in what the U.S. attorney Absolutely. comes up with. Yes. Jamal. Hey, listen, you know, the mere fact that the Senate and the, and, and the Assembly, both Republicans and Democrats, voted in favor unanimously to support these committees, you know, just speak for itself. And as a transparent person that Christie has always campaigned on, governed for, so what if we have so many committees? You know what? The root of it is, is that we need to get to the bottom of the issue. It might... As I mentioned to you when I was on the show last time, you know, that morning Bill Baroni had resigned. And I told you at that point that there was more to unravel at this time. And mm -hmm. so weeks later, we're getting to the bottom of this matter. I think that the Christie administration should come clean, let us know what, what occurred, and, and stop making a mockery out of New Jersey nationally because this is what it's doing. And I think we need to just get to the bottom of this so we can move on and let us represent New Jersey as we know we can. I think it was making a mockery, again, as the Democrats making this a partisan witch hunt at this point. Let the U.S. attorney conduct their investigation. They'll get to the bottom of it. The governor had said in a very clear and concise press conference that there is no connection to him for, for what happened uh, at the bridge. Do you think he's been weakened politically? I mean, to, to watch him give his inaugural address, to see him at the press conference uh, in which he talked about his shock and, and horror at, at uh, he said, coming to become aware of what had happened on the bridge. Uh, he looked uh, chastened. Has he been politically weakened? I think in the short term, yes. I mean, I think right now this is a, a you know, bump in the road for him that he's got to get through. I think every politician who... Has your party been weakened as well in its ability to 
to, to, to be an active minority within the State House, uh, carrying out the, uh, the not only the party agenda but the governor's wishes for no, the second term. No, I, I don't. I don't think so. I think actually the Democrats have there's an opportunity they overplay this hand, and I think it's because of the kind of committee they've put in place. If they wanted a committee that got to the bottom of it, then have a truly bipartisan commission. This is not what this is. This is a again, this is a partisan witch hunt intended to get a certain result, which is to prove what they think they know already, which is that he's done something wrong. Last word. Hey, listen, you know, we have the committee. It's in place. We need to get to the bottom of it. If Chris Christie wants us to believe whether or not he was involved with this or not, he needs to come clean with us. Let's get this out of the way and move on so we can represent New Jersey like I know that. You we think can. he has more to tell? Absolutely. All right, gentlemen, on that note, we have to leave it there. We thank you. Have a great weekend. You too.